Is Dale Jr. headed to Amazon in 2025? According to Adam Stern from the Sports Business Journal, there is speculation that Dale Jr. could end up at Amazon in 2025 as the new streaming partner for NASCAR for five races during the summer is looking to make a splash and they want to bring in a big name. Think about what they did with Thursday Night Football where they went out and got Al Michaels along with Kirk Herbstreit. And sure, Al looks like he's out to lunch most of the time, not eating vegetables. And Kirk potentially doesn't really know that much about the NFL. He's more of a college guy. Regardless, two massive names and people recognize that. So when Amazon wants to come in and do NASCAR, what better way to make a big splash than go out and get the biggest name in the sport? He's the most popular driver. He's the most popular personality the sport has right now, and all of NASCAR's media partners would absolutely love to have him. He's a reverse Tony Romo, in a sense. And I know some fans get annoyed at Dale Jr. and they get tired of his slide job call, but at the end of the day, he does a really good job of being impartial in the booth and providing really good feedback and commentary, which is exactly what you want. He doesn't step on anybody's toes. He's not overbearing. He doesn't yell other than the slide job thing. And he lets moments breathe. And to me, that's the that's the sign of a good commentator. But Dale, like he said on his podcast earlier this year, where it kind of surprised everybody, mentioned that he is out of contract at NBC. He does not have a deal with them for 2024 and beyond. So as it stands right now, when NBC picks up their portion of the schedule in the second half of this year in the summertime, Dale Jr. is not going to be on it. That booth is just going to consist of Steve LaTarte, Rick Allen, and Jeff Burton. No Dale Jr. for now. We'll wait and see what happens there. He said on his podcast he would love to be back at NBC. That's his family, this and that. But he also mentioned that he has talked to all of NASCAR's media partners, all the potential ones that are not potential, but all of the new ones that are coming in as well. In his interview with Marty Smith, he went as far to say, hey, if I was going to go work for Turner, TNT, HBO Max, um, all of that conglomerate. Now, what should I expect? And Marty gave him a rundown for it. That was an interesting thing to me because why would you mention that if you're that committed to NBC? But as it stands, Amazon wants to make a big splash. Jeff Bezos has everything in life. He has a gigantic sailboat. He's got a new wife, girlfriend, whatever she is. Everything he could want. Why not also put NASCAR Jesus in your pocket? Speaking of his pockets, they're incredibly deep, maybe infinitely deep. So you can go out there and pay Dale Jr. over what his maybe asking rate should be. And I'm willing to bet that Dale Jr. could get paid just as much to do five races on Amazon that he could get paid to do half the season on NBC. And if you're looking at a work-life balance, why wouldn't you take that? I do think Amazon's going to be good for the sport, and if they land Dale Jr., that's even better. I think what they're going to bring to the broadcast will make Fox and NBC also want to step their game up, which is really what we need from the sport. And hopefully it's in 4K or upscale 1080, whatever it actually ends up being, and looks better than what we currently have on cable. Because let's be honest, that 720 that Fox is broadcasting in looks looks like like you're watching a tube TV at times. So... Dale Jr. going to Amazon makes a lot of sense. Will it happen? Eh, that remains to be seen. Do we see Dale Jr. on our TVs calling races in 2024? I'm not that sold on it. I think think Dale Jr. is going to sit out this year, much like a college player sits out a bowl game, and they're going to sit back and they're going to watch and see how all the landscape plays out and see where they could potentially end up at. And I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to sit out this year, let the whole cycle go through, season ends, and then next year for 2025, he's going to pick and choose where he wants to go because he's in demand. He's the catbird seat, essentially, like Darrell Walsh used to say, the Pied Piper. He's going to go out there and lead his own path And it makes a lot of sense because it's going to get him paid at the end of the day. So we'll wait and see what happens with him. I would love to see him at Amazon. Him not being on NBC is going to make that booth a little bit more insufferable to listen to. But at the end of the day, it's interesting to see sort of how this is all going to play out because two new media partners coming in means that we're going to have to get some new personalities. Unless, of course, they do take personalities from both Fox and NBC and fill their booths with that. I hope they don't do that. We've seen that be done in the past. I would like some new voices in the sport just for the sake of having a different voice on our television every week. So let me know. Do you think Dale Jr. goes to Amazon? Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.